Hey guys, Matt Montanez here again with another plugins in depth video, and today I'm going to talk to you about Vocaline Project. I love this plugin, it's a must have plugin. I use it on every single mix, every single day. It's incredible. This plugin has a lot of uses, and what it does is it aligns the timing of two audio files. So you get your guide track, and then you get your double, and it'll align them to match the timing. It's really great and useful. You can use it on lip syncing, you can use it on dubbing, you can use it on backgrounds. You actually can use this bad boy on drums and other instruments to align them, like you could align a drum machine to a live drummer to get that human feel, and it works great. So the way it works is that it uh, analyze the audio file and find the energy of the peaks and the dips in the, in the waveform, and then it'll match those so they stay in time. And I'll show you that once I bring in some audio files here. So in this plugin, you have to bring it up with Audio Suite, so Synchro Arts Vocaline Project. I'm using the project version, which is the smallest one to buy. Then you also can get the Pro, which is a little more powerful. Then you can get like Revoice, which is even more powerful. And they're all great, but I feel like the project one is more than enough power for what I need it for. So in this plugin, you got a few functions here. You got your guide button, which will bring in your like your lead vocal or your lead instrument, whatever is going to be the lead. And then you got your dub button, which is for the double that you want to align to the guide. Then you got your align button, which all it's going to do is it's going to show the waveform and show you like a guide on what it's going to do. You actually don't need to press that, but it's cool just to see it. You got some zoom controls, which are pretty useless I don't really use them and then you got these buttons here is one two three four and five and it's just the way the plugin is going to work so it's usually on normal flexibility which is just like the normal processing of the plugin that it's going to do and then you can come to like one which is maximum compression which is going to use more compression to fix the timing of the vocals uh, it's going to squeeze it down a little bit to get it uh, to match then you got low flexibility, which would probably give you the best quality, but it's not going to give it any room, any wiggle room to stretch and compress, really. Then you got normal, which is going to give you a little bit of that, like a compression and expanding. Then you got high flexibility, which is actually going to give you quite a bit of that. So you'll probably get a little less quality, but it's hardly noticeable. And then you got maximum expansion as if it needs to stretch the audio quite a bit. So you got those five settings. I use normal flexibility about 95% of the time, probably even 98% of the time. Once in a while, I'll jump to low flexibility or high flexibility. Most of the time, it's on normal flexibility. Then you got your capture button, and that's to bring your audio into these guide and the dub track. And then you got your spot button, which is just going to spot it into the right track you want it in. And then you gotta just make sure you have use in playlist always on. If you don't, it's just going to, when you click spot, it's just going to throw it in your clip list. So always keep that on. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something simple. Let's record my voice and get a guide and a double and let's see how it aligns. So I'm just gonna record something simple. I need to align this audio. Move this out the way. And I'm gonna bring this up just so we can have room. And now I'm gonna record a double of it. I need, I need to, to align, align this audio. audio. And there's my double, okay? So let's hear them back together. I, I need, need to align, align this audio. audio. And you can hear that it's a little off. They're not exactly on time. So I'm gonna select the first one and click capture. And that's on my guide track. Now I'm gonna click dub. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna click capture again, okay? And then I'm gonna click in there and look. And then you can zoom in to see what it's doing and how it's aligning. And then if you move this around, it doesn't do anything. It just lets you move that waveform. So just keep that in mind. If you move it this way, it's not going to do, it's not going to do anything. So I'm going to zoom back out. And let's click spot. And now let's hear it. I need to align this audio. And it just matched it perfectly, right? So let's do one more voice. Let's do like a sillier voice to see what it sounds like. I'm going to mute that second one. And let's record again. I need, I need to, to align, align this audio. audio. All right, so let's move that up. And let's go back to the first one, guide track. Let's capture that. And let's go to this third one, dub, capture. Let's align. Let's hear that back, just those two. I need to align this audio. And you can hear it's not exactly in time. So now, once I aligned and click spot, now let's hear it. I need to align this audio. And it's on time now. It's incredible. I love this plugin. So I also imported some different vocals here of a singer so I can test it out for you. So let's take that off and let's hear this first one. Try me, just try me. 
All right, and here's the second voice. Try me, just try me. Actually, those are pretty dead on there. Let's hear this third voice I brought in. Try me, just try me. And let's hear this fourth one. Try me, just try me. Great timing, right? It sounds great, and that's incredible. I love it. But let's use vocal line and see what else it does. So I'm going to select it, the first one, capture. Let's scroll down, go to dub. Let's capture a line. And you see how it, it brings this in there, and it shows you what it's going to align. So let's spot that. Let's go to the next one. And if you can tell, it kind of stretched it out a little bit. The next one, align. And let's say for this last one, we just don't want this section here. We only want the beginning. So when we capture it, you can actually grab these lines and you can move them over like that. So it's only going to align the highlighted section. So whatever is in gray, it won't align. So let's do that. Okay. And let's click align and let's spot it. So then it'll erase all this that we don't need. And let's hear it back now. Try me, just try me. And doesn't it just sound a lot tighter than it was before? It sounds incredible now, like his timing was perfect. So I'm gonna undo what I did so we can hear it again. Try me, just try. Okay, and let's put it back. Try me, just try me. And you hear the difference? It's incredible. I love this plugin. Like I said, I use it every single day on every mix. The one thing to keep in mind, as you can see in, in my audio examples here, I have this little bit of airspace, this little gap before I captured the vocals. And that's because it lets the plugin analyze the noise floor. So it gives it some room to actually find the right peaks and the right dips in the audio files when you so that's a great thing to keep in mind always keep about 0.25 maybe 0.5 about half a second of space before your audio file your audio actually comes in just so it can analyze that noise floor and really find the right peaks and dips and really tighten everything up exactly where it needs to be and the great thing about this plugin, like i said before you can use it on dubs lip sync you can replace voices so for example if you have a male voice and you need a female to come in and redo it then you can use this plugin it'll put her timing exactly on to that male voice you could um, use it on guitars and stuff it's amazing it's a great plugin. I highly, highly, highly recommend everyone to get it and use it, especially if you do doubles often or backgrounds. It's a must have. I should mention that this plugin does have a couple limitations. You have to capture a certain amount of audio for it to actually work. I believe it's like 0.25 seconds at least you need to capture that or else it won't be able to process anything. And the maximum you can get in the projects version is 120 seconds. I like to stick to about a bar or two, maybe up to four bars because the more audio you capture, then the longer it takes to process. All right, guys, hope this video really helped you out a little bit. I hope you guys really dig this plugin and go out and get it. It's incredible. Subscribe to the page. Give me a thumbs up. Also, check out my other videos on plugins in depth and also how to use Avid Pro Tools if you guys are new to this program. I really go in depth on that. Keep creating music, guys.